Hello and welcome, I'm at Caravan Salon. I'm gonna show you this vehicle, the Deathless Alpa. It's got a rear lounge, it's got sleeping in the over cab at the front, uh, something like this. Uh, it's 730, uh, 735 centimeters long. Oh, sorry, got that wrong, 733 centimeters wrong. And it comes at a cost of 141,000 euros. So it's got a, for a rear lounge model, it's got a very large and high garage. It's got a double floor, uh, which is quite deep. And there you've got your beds up front. Uh, so comes with skylight and one window and television and bed, should you so desire. How do you get into it? Ooh, it's a bit stiff, sorry. There's steps up to the bed. If you weigh more than 120 kilos, then you're out of luck. There's access here to the uh, driver's cab. They put the steering wheel on the wrong side. <laughs> right hand drive, a yeah, Fiat Automatic uh, in here. Um, some vehicles also, you can find them on the um, Iveco, the larger ones. I think this is probably an option, this as well. Steering wheels on the right hand side, but also is the door. And for those wanting right hand drive vehicles, this is often the problem. So if you park, then you're getting out at the side of the traffic so if i were dri right hand drive i'd want my habitation door on the left and as there's a lot of viewers in the united kingdom perhaps you'd like to say what you think about this the rest of the vehicle of course just the steering wheel is going to be a different side the rest of the vehicle is going to be the same i think uh, right what's this down here water tank there you have your shower central drainage lovely shower you've got a bar up there to hang your stuff up to keep it dry or, or get it dry i should say i left i got my clothes really wet going out in the rain 24 hours later okay it's the summer of course but it's not that it's not such a hot summer it's up 20 degrees outside and it was still wet when i came back didn't try and dry it of course Alda heating, lots of space in here. Right, so here we can have a look inside the double floor. So what we've got down here, store, we've got your battery compartment. You could increase the battery size. Okay, this has got an AGM battery. I'd take that out, I'd get, you could easily get 500 amp hours of lithium in there, if not more. really deep uh, storage here and there's tank water tank and there's the Aldi boiler as well so the double floor serves to put your technical infrastructure in three burners sink large um drainage point there uh, here we have very attractive um drawers and pull out uh there, that's for your rubbish there's your gas as uh, so you can turn your gas on and off which you know if you're driving you should really turn your, your gas off uh, storage above of course this thing here's the extractor fan it does take up quite a lot of space uh, mine seems to take up much less space but then again this is probably a better one than the one i've got in fact mine hardly takes any space up at all it's really really neatly done anyway, i'll have to show that in a different video um, and there is your rear seating area we've got storage all the way around We've got this ledge here, and inside the ledge, look at that really deep storage. Television up there. Now, a friend of mine 
asked me to film this for him. At least I think this is the one he wants. And if he's thinking of buying this, I think it's really good. But he also asked me to have a look at the Frankia. And of the two, I prefer the Frankia. Um, I'll put a link in if I fail um, to uh, re uh, if I fail to remember that. Please remind me. Um, grill, freezer, which opens both ways, and of course, fridge here. Lovely large skylights. Okay, this one's a normal size, but the back the lovely large skylights. Lots of light in this, and um, okay, here we're in a hall and it's quite dark, but yeah, I think that's really good. Uh, up here, I've got these, uh, which perhaps you don't want to see all the time, but I really like this nautical look. What we've got here, we've got the electricity, we've got the water, and we've got the time that is actually working as well. I think it'll be about that time right now. Uh, here, we can see, for example, you turn, when you come in a vehicle, come out, turn off the 12 volt supply, and uh, that'll turn the lights off. The light we've got on behind us is an external light. It is not uh, an internal one. Uh, so that's for the trade fair put up there. So that will not turn the fridge off though, I need to point out. <laughs> In those vehicles which are using a two-way fridge, that is. Um, I think this looks super elegant. Uh, very, very attractive. And here we've got um, the light switches. You've got the step for the outside. I won't demonstrate that now because there's a bigger uh, step up here. Um, if I can show you this. There's the door. Um, I've got storage. Goes through, so if you're carrying long things. But I really think that this is absolutely excellent. The amount of space you put in a real lounge. That is so unusual. That looks a bit of a mess. Maybe it isn't, but it does look a bit of a mess. That's going into the electro block. You've got the fuses behind it. Uh, not sure. I've got to give that a very a bad mark for that. That doesn't appeal to me at all like that. This one's got a UK plug in it. So there's plugs and USBs throughout the uh, vehicle. Um, the, ha the price is in euros, but not in pounds. So that is the new uh, Alpha. 6820.2 Oh look at that, even the thing was up in English I'll, yeah, I'll put, I could have put that instead of I didn't notice that oh, It doesn't work, sorry, okay Oh it does, there you go yeah, still, still, in, still in Euros though And okay, there Overview, there are plus factors Does this work? No, so there aren't any plus Oh there you go, there you go Professional gas hob with high performance berms and glass coated steel surface. Frost proof thanks to a heated double floor with plenty of storage. Huge rear garage for transporting bu bulky holiday luggage within two, with two storage flaps as, as standard, I think that's just saying. Rear storage space flap option for transporting long items. Well, we saw that as well. Uh, upholstery, hit that. Melia, Samia, leather. Samia, that's what it looks like. Let's have a look at the option extras. And fortunately, we don't know what's going to be in them. Uh, <laughs> we can't say. But you can get a lithium package, 213 kilos for 8,000. Plus lithium package, 163 kilos. What are they putting in it? So it was 63 kilos. And well, it must be, if it weighs, if it weighs 113 kilos, it must be a pretty good lithium package. Mind you, I suppose you add something like this. You might want to go uh, and live off grid for some time. You've got plenty of space to stack everything. So that is the this vehicle at just come out. Uh, thanks very much for watching. All the best from me in Dusseldorf, Germany.